This is a termite's nest. There's a group of three termite nests here that my son and I are going to eliminate today. And uh, I'm gonna show on the camera how it's done. Mickey, come here. Do this one right here. So you get this little pickaxe hammer and he opened it up. You can see the honeycomb in there. And this nest is gonna go down about a meter into the ground. And what you have to do is remove, hit it a couple more times. Careful. Okay, good enough, good enough. You tired? A little bit, okay. So basically you hit this with a chisel hammer or you can use a pickaxe and you open it up and you expose the termites to the air and then you can apply poison and remove the remove the nest. Or you can burn What did you say? Or you can burn it. Or you can burn them out. That's right. And this is what the nest looks like once you get it good and cracked open. You can see all the honeycombs appear brown. It's like a protective layer. And then you get down into the nest itself and it turns a brownish color. And that is actually flammable. You can, uh, you can make a little fogata on the top of this thing and it'll burn them all out. Oh, look, but, a worm, a worm. Yeah, it's not a worm, it's a millipede. It's a millipede. Um, but anyway, you can see how this is. I might have a shaky camera here a little bit. But it's hollowed out down, down below. What happens is the nest itself is like a ball and they hollow out around it, I don't know why. But anyway, we're gonna continue on with the destruction of this thing. Okay, so this part right here is the part that is flammable. You can see it has like a, a very soft consistency. If I squeeze it, it falls apart. So my son convinced me that we will do a burnout. So I'm gonna collect a little bit of kindling and uh, put some kerosene on it and we'll burn these guys out. Okay. And if we look at the hole now, you can see we're down into the core of the nest. So we'll make a little fire and uh, eliminate these guys. Okay, so we got the materials here to make a little, a small fire. My son's gonna light it carefully, right buddy? Carefully. And one benefit of living on a property with almost 100, over 150 mango trees is that you never, you're never lacking for material to start a fire. Okay, buddy, light it up. I should mention I put a little bit of kerosene in there too so this would catch quicker. Okay, back up, buddy. So when this gets good and going, it's going to uh, it's going to catch the nest as well. You can see we got a little bit of a wind today, so but this method here is a lot easier than digging the whole entire nest out. Like I said, the nest goes down a ways and uh, you gotta go through it swinging with, the, swinging with the hammer or chopping away with your shovel and digging it out. And uh, it's a lot of work, this is easier. Anyway, Anyway, this, uh, I think this will conclude this video. You guys get the idea. But anyway, that's the process that we use to remove termite nests.
Okay, as a follow-up to the to the first video, um, burning the the termite nest out. This is the other option. You can see, I dug it out, I smashed it out, and uh, you know we just eliminated them with pesticide. And you can see over here. Here's the grand part of the here's the big part of the mound, and all the uh, the dead termites in there. This is a little bit more work because. You really gotta dig it out. I'm not done with this, I gotta go further down. You can see the difference. The brown is, is where the inner nest is. And then I've gotta get that whole bottom piece out. But uh, that's the other alternative as opposed to burning them out.